Hey gang, welcome to another episode of Digging with Seven. I understand how some things can get in the lake. You got on a pair of sunglasses or a mask and you jump in and it falls off. How does this stuff get in the lake? This is exactly the way that I found these four chairs all stacked together. You know, it's one thing to lose one chair, to lose it in the water, but to lose the whole bunch at one time. Now, obviously, someone may have tripped and pushed these chairs off the top of the houseboat. More than likely, though, they were sitting on top of the houseboat and a storm blew them off. Anyway, here they are, all four of them. This one is a puzzle. This is a top rail for an old steel hull houseboat. Now these things are rigidly applied to the top of the houseboat, secured, you know, really good. How in the world did they get this rail off the top of the houseboat and into the water? You tell me. When I first saw this, I thought for sure I had a tackle box. It's not, it's a battery and half of the top is blown out of this. I would say that this battery blew up in the boat. Maybe they were trying to uh, jump it or hook it up. I don't know, dangerous. Well, here is an anchor, but no rope. Did somebody say, throw the anchor out? And they just picked up the anchor and threw it. And then they turned and say, did you clip the rope to it? No, you didn't tell me that. You just told me to throw the anchor out. Now, this has been down there for some time. The rope may have disintegrated and rotted off of it. But uh, another anchor for my collection. Wow, I'm getting a lot of anchors. This is a portable light for a boat. It would have had a rod that came out of the bottom to attach it. Broke off, I guess. Well, here's a spinning outfit. This didn't just fall off of a reel because there's no spool and there's no handle. Evidently, somebody just got mad at this thing and threw it away. This is a sunshade for an old sonar. You know, every time I find underwear in the lake, well, you know, nobody knows. <laughs> and even another battery. Now this one doesn't seem to have any damage. Uh, it may have just fell overboard if they were trying to hook it up or pass it from boat to boat. I think I got it figured out. The underwater golf course. Now the objective to underwater golf is to hit the ball and have it lodge next to the roots or within the roots of an old tree stump. And uh, you know, as I go from stump to stump here, I'm finding golf balls that have made their way down. Now, true, they may have hit them and they just, uh, you know, with the current and the waves and everything, uh, the ball is round and it rolls downhill. And the first place to stop it is gonna be uh, in a mass of roots. But uh, it kind of looks like a game of golf, really. When you look at all of the golf balls, and man, I have found hundreds of these, uh, just literally hundreds of golf balls. So you figure out, are they just hitting them into the water or are they trying to hit them in a specific place? I don't know about these. There are a couple of 55 gallon barrels. You see some holes are cut out there. Did somebody just discard these or were these put down for uh, fish attraction, I really don't know. But, you know, here they are, a couple of them, and it is good structure for fish to be on. And in the process, I find an old shoe as well. Hey gang, thanks for joining us today here. Another dive at Del Hollow Lake. Be sure and click that subscribe button, like, and share with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.